All right, guys, what's happening today? Uh, I want to take some time and go over briefly some of the features of my favorite code editing software, which is Adobe Dreamweaver. Now, if you haven't used Adobe Dreamweaver, um, it's Adobe's uh, code editing software, similar to Microsoft Visual Studio, which is an open source code editor. Um, I like Adobe Dreamweaver just because it's integrated with the other Adobe products. It really makes um, kind of combining your Photoshop and your Illustrator and your Bridge and things like that um, kind of come together when you're doing your projects. So what I would say is this is kind of what happens, or this is as you enter Adobe Dreamweaver. And this is CC 2019, which is the latest version of Adobe Dreamweaver. And what we'll see here is we can actually create different type of file uh, for web and uh, internet. So HTML, CSS, LESS, SAS, JavaScript, PHP. Uh, basically all these are just foundational template files. You won't get too much information. We can just show you how to create a quick HTML one. Um, and what you'll see here is it basically just gives the foundational body, head, uh, tag information that is used when creating HTML documents. Now the other good thing about Adobe, so you can see here, this is just a standard. We can update the title tag. This is our website and such, but it's basically just a framework and it also gives a code editing syntax so you can see that things are color coded. Um, our text is here. You'll also be able to kind of test display if you don't want to load this up to a server um, with some visual tools that kind of do a browser in your own local hard drive or your own local computer. And basically, it, it really is just a really good tool for editing code software. The other piece of Adobe Dreamweaver that is very popular is the file management along with the FTP. So as you can see here on the left hand side, it actually has a area where you are able to manage your website files and not only that, you're able to set them up to both a local and a remote um, setting. So you're able to work with them on your local hard drive and then also push them up to the server. So those are just a few of the most important features, which are the code editing section, the FTP, and the file management. I mean, really with those, everything else is kind of bells and whistles. Um, you'll find things like snippets where you're able to um, import, like insert uh, different codes and headers and uh, different jQuery that's already been created. So it just really makes the whole coding process, if you don't remember certain uh, syntaxes or certain pieces that are constantly used, you're going to be able to go back into Dreamweaver and find a lot of those things like a slider, a button, um, tools like that. So basically just taking a quick look, guys, that is Adobe Dreamweaver in kind of a condensed overview. But I would say play with it. It's a really powerful piece of software. And what I'm going to try to do from here is kind of break down each of these sections within the editor, within the file manager, within some of the bells and whistles, and kind of really break down some of the features of Adobe Dreamweaver. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, give a like, give a subscribe, got more coming. I'm constantly trying to get some material and content together. So uh, we'll catch you soon. Take care, keep practicing, and uh, have a good day.